hook up the left sonar sensor. This is the left sonar sensor. And we're going to need four male-female wires, one red, one blue, one yellow, and one black. We're also going to need a tiny red wire and a tiny blue wire. And we're going to need a partially assembled robot. And the fritzing diagram, which you can get to you can get to the fritzing diagram by going to file, open, and then you'll have to find your challenge bot directory, um, which is uh, in a place where I can find it totally. Um, okay, challenge bot directory. So once you're in the challenge bot directory, wherever you put that, in build stages, in left sonar, left sonar.fcz. And there's the fritzing diagram. You'll also need the Arduino sketch. Oops, this is for later. Um, the Arduino sketch is going to be file, sketchbook, B, left sonar. And there it is. Okay, so in the Fritzing diagram, you can see the sonar sensor has red, blue, yellow, and black. We're going to plug that in. So first we're going to plug in red, which is labeled VCC. You'll have that label on your sonar sensor either in the front and the back, probably. Um, so... Here's VCC. It's going to be on the top when the um, sonar sensor is put together and facing away from you. And then blue is the trigger pin, and we're going to plug that in. Handle these wires by the black housing so that they don't get damaged. And keep these little metal windows right here. So these little, these little openings where there's a little metal piece. That we want to keep accessible to us so that we can um, troubleshoot connectivity issues later. We want to be able to touch those with the multimeter. After blue is yellow, that's echo. So trigger is the time when the message is sent out from the sonar sensor, and echo is the time when it's received back into the sonar sensor. And it uses that to calculate distance, just like a bat's echolocation and then black ground at the bottom of that. Okay, um, these wires go, so the power wire, this red one, goes into the breadboard, and then um, it connects to the power on the Arduino through this little red wire, and the power on the Arduino is five volt. Okay, so we're gonna plug that in. We're gonna take the male end of the male-female red wire and plug it in to the breadboard. And then we're going to take our little red wire and connect it to the five volts on the Arduino. So five volts is the fourth one up here. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to plug that into the red power line on the breadboard. Okay. And then we're going to do the black wire, which is on the bottom of the sonar sensor, right here. The black wire goes into the blue line on the breadboard and then connects to the ground on the Arduino through this black wire. So we're going to do that. So here's, ah, here's our black wire. And again, we're going to keep these little metal pieces sticking out so they're nice and accessible. Um, then we're going to connect this to ground. So here's our little wire for connecting to ground. Ground is right next to 5 volts. The Arduino right there. And we're going to connect to the blue line on the breadboard. Sorry for covering that up. Okay. So ground is there. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now that's connected. Now we need to connect the blue trigger wire. Um, you can see on the fritzing diagram that it's connected to 12, but it's a little bit hard to see. Um, you can also read, you can zoom in on that, or you can see right here, left trigger pin goes to 12. So we're going to plug that in to 12 on the Arduino, which is, okay, so 8, 9, 
12. Sorry. Is that 12? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, um, then we're going to do the same thing with the echo pin. Um, so the echo pin you can see connects to 11, left echo pin 11. You can also see this on the fritzing diagram. It's connected to 11, this yellow one. Echo, yellow, kind of rhymes. That's why I chose that color. Okay, that's a good mnemonic. Um, okay, so 11. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now everything is connected. We just need to test it out by putting code on there. So we're going to plug in the robot. So plugging into the Arduino and also into the computer. And then we're going to upload the code from B left sonar. So this is the upload button right here. And it's running. Now it's done. It says thank you. So we're going to load a serial monitor in the upper right hand corner. Open up this window and it's going to give us some values. So the ping time, that's how long the message is out before it gets back to the sonar sensor and the distance is calculated from that and it's in centimeters. So right now it thinks that the closest thing in front of it is around 20 centimeters away. If I put my hand in front of it, that number should go down. So here my hand is in front of it and now it thinks my hand is like three-ish centimeters away from the sonar sensor. And now if I take my hand away, it goes back to normal. Now you see here, it has some like spurious values that are not, not really accurate. Um, yeah, so some things can... It's not always going to give the same value if it's measuring the same thing. It's not the best measuring device. Yeah. And also, if you do something, um, if, say, the, the blue wire isn't a very good connection and it's um, the same as if it's not plugged in, um, then, then the value really crazy stuff. Hopefully. Yeah, so the values yeah, now like are just negative all over the place actually giving better values than I thought it would. I'm not really sure how it's doing that. But yeah, um, if your wires aren't all solid connections, um, then the output will be crazy. So if your output is crazy, check whether or not you have a bunch uh, wires all solidly connected. Okay, thanks.